Well, my next guest is Joe Mwangi, and he's a motivational speaker. And uh, we're here to talk about um, some of the things that we should be learning in our 20s. Karibu sana to the show, Joe. Thank you. Great Thank to you. have you. Thank you. And um, maybe we can begin with just hearing a bit of your own experience. Yeah. <laughs> when you look back at your 20s, yes. are there certain things that you're just like, Wah! what was I thinking, uh, or that you really wish you had learned or someone had taken the time to teach you in yeah. that time? Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, one of the things I would say that uh, I wish I had learned that time is that uh, mentored people last longer. Okay. That yes, I had information, but people who have mentors all the time, every other time, every season, everywhere, mm. They have been seen to outdo people that have not been mentored. Okay. And I realized there's a lady who became a, a member of parliament in Uganda. Her name was um, Praskovia Lengoto mm -hmm. uh, When she was in high school, there was a family friend of, of their family mm. that was a member of parliament and was also a minister in government and worked with this girl. The kind of dreams she put in this girl were more than what she read in books. And so the images we, f we see in our minds are the ones that create for us the lives we live thereafter. Okay. So that our mind, what our mind first does, it first creates itself into the shape we are helping it to become. Then from there, it picks on and creates for us the life we have helped it become. Like okay. this is the example. Our mind is like a mold. A mold to say that any container, plastic, metallic, whatever it is, the first thing that industries make is a mold. Mm. When they achieve the mold and they are satisfied with the mold, the rest of the job is reproduction mm. of those things, whatever numbers that are needed. If an organization orders for a million copies of that, it will be done. So our, your mind first becomes, then it produces for you that. Okay. So if I had known that I had needed to pick a mint at that time, it would have been prudent for me. Okay. Yes. Um, before we move on to some of the other lessons that people can learn, I, I want to dwell on this uh, idea of mentorship for just a moment. Yeah. Um, because I, th I think part of where a lot of people in their 20s, in their teens go wrong mm -hmm. is in how they are seeking a mentor mm -hmm. and what they expect the mentor to do. Yeah. Right. Yes. Some people look at the mentor like as if they are now supposed to basically take care of you like they are your child. Yes. And that's wrong. Um, that's wrong. Yes. Because this, as far as I've understood and learned in my experience, a mentor and mentee relationship should actually be a cross learning experience. Both yeah. of you are benefiting from each other. Yes. And I think many people get it wrong when they're just like, They've not given me money. They've not g given me connections. They've not. That's not the right way to go about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, you've got it right. That uh, in my 20s, what was in my mind is, um, is financial capital. Mm -hmm. What I did not know is that I didn't need financial capital that time. Right. I needed intellectual capital, social capital, and human capital. Mm -hmm. Young people to do wherever they are. They believe that if they got money, they would do something that would change the world. Mm -hmm. But the reality is this, that um, it is not money that we need at that time. We need first to master our skill. We need first to know the right people and the networks. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you are seeking out uh, greatness in our 20s, yeah. we should first concentrate on the first three most important capitals. For example, if you have money and you don't have an idea, that money will be spent in the shortest time. Right. That is why people win money and then th three years, four years down the line, they are as broke as if they had not touched that money. Mm. Because the problem is not the money. The problem is the idea. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might contest with that. But there are enough examples of people who came to Nairobi without money and using their idea, they got money. So I talk of intellectual capital as being the most important capital, knowing how to do something right. that can give you money any day. Even if you lose that money, you can still get the money back because you know what how. you got 
cannot be finished by maybe the disappearance of that money or the depletion of that capital. Mm -hmm. The other thing is social capital. And social capital comes in many dimensions. Some of them being values, being attitudes that you inculcate in yourself as a young person. And this is to say that um, a young man with a good attitude will attract favor wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. There's a gentleman who came to my workshop. He's called Lincoln. That guy he is, has a pleasant attitude. Such, you know, is a guy you want just to call and you, you, you mm. he's a very young person. There are people you just want to help. I just feel good just having him around. Yeah. Uh, he is a guy who will give me a call at the midnight and I would want to help him whatever it is that he mm. wants me to help him because of his attitude. He will not choose what job to do. He will not uh, give excuses. He will get a way around something, whatever it is. So he's he is, he is actually accumulating social capital. He is getting people pleased with him. He is not giving us money, but he is giving us an attitude that we need to help him achieve his dreams. If he wants a business plan, whatever he wants us to help him do. If he wants space, internet, he can come to our office, use the internet that is there, use our computers, use our space, because we like him. Okay. Like, you, know, you see, uh, that alone, is capital on its own, likeability. Right. Yeah. That that favor, the principle of favorability. Right. Are you somebody people feel pleased to be around? Are and, you respected? And that's very for? important because yes. I think again, and this has been mentioned many times before, that there a lot of people today seem to talk about this whole sense of entitlement yes. that there seems to prevail among young people today. Like we almost walk around feeling like people owe us because yes. we're young. <laughs> and yes. the thing about this world is nobody owes us anything. Yes. That's just the sad reality of uh, life. I mean, not sad, yeah. but it's just the truth. Yes. No one is going to owe us anything. And yes. So the people who are able to be likable and to be pleasant in their attitude yes. are the ones who are going to win big. Yes. Yeah. So in that, in that I have come to realize that um, these young people in, in, in that age bracket of 20s, I, I wish that they begin to develop the social uh, capital in dimensions of, um, of, of, of the friends they're keeping. Uh, because again, you realize in life, there are only two ways people learn, through association and through the books you read. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and association comes now from the, read, from the listening and so many other things and the friends you keep around yourself. Okay. In that thing that you find, a lot of young people want to keep friends that please them, mm. that help them enjoy their comfort zone mentality. Mm. If you challenge them, they get angry. If you tell them this is should work, you can't do this, they become very angry. They don't need that direct correction. Yeah. They want to be pampered. They want to be soft with themselves and they want people to be soft with them as they are being soft with themselves. Okay. And sometimes it's good to be hard on yourself a bit. Sure. Because even when you're making juice, you don't soothe fruits, you crush them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's good to see that um, people don't mean bad for you if they correct you and they stand on you. I have had young people around me that have mentored. Sometimes I'm hard on them. Yeah. But I know what I want to achieve. Okay. Because you can't achieve it just like that. Sure. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Well, we're going to take a break at this point. And uh, when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation here with Joe Mwangi. And uh, I want us to talk about some of the other things that possibly you should be learning uh, in your 20s. Uh, things about owning your morning. <laughs> Um, and that, you know, the challenges, challenges come our way for us to actually grow and not to break us down. Um, and uh, a few other lessons here as well. I'd also love to hear what some of the things you guys are learning are. If you're someone who's over 20s or over your 20s, you can also let me know as well on triple one, triple four, triple one. We'll be back after this. This is Full Circle with Joyce. All right, everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Joe Mwangi, and we're talking about things that we wish we could have learned in our 20s. And uh, he shared the first one, which uh, for you is about a mentor-mentee relationship and how it's very important from a young age. You said people who are mentored last longer. Yeah, they last longer. Okay, great point. And we've also been discussing the appropriate way 
of what a, a mentor mentee relationship should be about your mentor is not your capital provider yeah. <laughs> they're not a bank for you yeah. uh, you should be seeking intellectual capital from them social capital um what was the other one even i think emotional capital as far as how you mm. think maturely yes. uh emotional maturity as well yes. would be key yes. uh financial capital should probably not even feature at all if yeah. if any um but maybe we can move on to some other lessons mm -hmm. um as far as what people should be really learning in their 20s before i prompt some are there any others that stick out to you uh, yes uh, i would also want to recommend uh, that young people um, develop skills that will give them an advantage in the marketplace mm -hmm. and, and these skills um, move from communication personal branding mm -hmm. that uh, can you say in one sentence who you are what you have and how it concerns people. Mm. Because at the end of the day, uh, people are most interested, not mostly by who you are, right. but what you have. Right. And if you cannot be able to clearly state who you are and what you offer the market, then it's difficult for you to be self-branded. Mm -hmm. So communication is important and personal branding mm -hmm. so that you can create a, a brand of yourself as a young person okay. so that um, the market will purchase you as you present yourself. Right. Those are the, I would say, the most important things any young person should be working on, especially on how you address the, the people that are, are, are senior to you, on how you address your age mates, on how you do things, how you groom. Because even before you say anything, you have made an impression. And there is never a second chance to make a first impression. And impressions are very, very important. Some other days, some lady walked into our place and uh, she told us uh, that the husband is an engineer. But, but let me tell you, the dressing refused. The, 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 some things just refused. Uh, there sometimes some things refuse. <laughs> a, a, and you raise suspicion, which is not needful. Yeah. So don't, 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 don't create doubt on the brand you're creating. Right. If you say I'm this, let it be seen. And mm -hmm. so when I get young people that need mentorship, because I do mentor people, mm -hmm. I give them titles mm -hmm. of the books. Like there's a guy who came to me and needed to write a book. Okay. He did not know what title to call his book. So I told him to call his book uh, Bending Without Breaking because mm -hmm. he's raised up, uh, he's brought up as an orphan. He has gone through many challenges. He got an A grade in school and the people need to read his story. Another guy was um, run down by a vehicle here in Westla and uh, he was taken to City Mochari, but uh, that boy was not dead. So he is broken, he walks with a limp. And I, I gave him a title, broken but not destroyed. They mm. come to me, I may not give you money, but I can give you a title that can make you a millionaire because that is what matters most. Mm. And then I give him um, a hard disk and this hard disk, I told him to put content and yeah. listen every day. At least every week he has to do 60 hours and he is accountable to me. Wow. I tell you this, three weeks ago I went to, with him to a place and I gave him, I was called to speak. Instead I gave him the microphone and he did the speaking. You would like to listen to that young man. Mm. Because of that, he is creating something that will feed him for the rest of his life. So okay. mentorship is not about you picking money from your mentor. It is about picking the life lessons that will serve you even when the mentor is there or not. Mm. It is like the transfer of power in parenting that mm -hmm. I say, is a gradual transfer of power from the parent to the child until all the power you see with the child. Mm. So you are actually transferring power. Okay. Be also somebody who is receptive and not judgmental because mentors are not angels. They have their own weaknesses and, and things that they need also to work on, but yeah. pick the lessons that are important. And I think that's something young people need to learn. Sure, absolutely. Yes. And uh, let me remind you at this point that you can also send in uh, your feedback and your comments to triple one, triple four, triple one. What do you wish you had learned in your twenties or at a younger age? Uh, let me know on triple one, triple four, triple one. Um, the other thing I want us to talk about uh, with our 20s, sometimes, you know, uh, from our teenagehood into those early parts of our 20s, we really love our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we want to stay home in the mornings <laughs> and um, a lot of people will start their day quite late. Let's talk about owning yes. and commanding our morning. There's something I, 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 that interests me about that. 
that the, 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 the most outstanding characteristic of teenage is laziness. Mm -hmm. It comes naturally. You are feeling not wanting to do things. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of young people, that is the most important part of life. 20s is the most important part of life, I would say that, mm -hmm. because it's the foundational years when you set real structures that support you now. If you're doing a building, the strength of that building is determined by the foundation, right. the kind of the metals you are using, and that determines how many floors you can put on that building. Sure. Even if you get more money later in life, the character you built as a young person right. goes a long way in what we do with that money and what happens to you much later. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because you have seen people getting promoted, getting bigger businesses, and collapsing mm. because of character. Mm -hmm. So what I want to tell young people is that to command their morning. What do you do in the morning? Mm -hmm. I wish that the people can begin to read. I, I like reading myself and listening to things that inspire me. And that is a habit. And, and that gives you something called the competitive edge. In, in business, we call it the winning edge principle. And it says that um, a small difference in behavior skill or habit will mm. cause an enormous difference in results in the in, in the long run. Right. That if you begin to develop a certain skill or a certain habit or a certain behavior and you are consistent on it, and the key word here is consistency, mm. you will become that thing. Mm. And if you learn to read in the morning and listen in the morning, you will go out with a better attitude. And I want you to learn this, uh, Joyce, is that um, in every industry, Given the same circumstances, there are people who do better than others. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? It is the attitude. Somebody who woke up with a good attitude might meet a very angry policeman, but your attitude can even change the policeman's attitude. Sure. Your attitude is very key and very pivotal in how your day ends. And the, 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 the people might not want to believe all, all things about uh, motivation and things we talk about, mm -hmm. but the mind is very, very key in attracting to you the things that come to you. Mm -hmm. A good, positive mind, a mind that is energetic, will most of the times attract things of that kind. Mm -hmm. And therefore, your morning is very important to set the kind of attitude that shall command your day. Mm -hmm. And most of the times, you might even get good luck because of a smile you offered somebody. Mm. You might even get uh, an appointment because of just the attitude you carry along with yourself. Mm. And you find yourself having a better life that day. And yeah. because of that, you see, happiness or it, it in inspires the mind eh, to make you more creative. That is, you will find happier people are more creative. Mm -hmm. and, and somebody said that uh, life is, uh, is gloomy for gloomy people mm -hmm. and life is interesting for interesting people. Mm -hmm. So it is you, if you are dull, then life is dull mm -hmm. and it is too dull mm -hmm. because you are dull. And, and I was telling my, my, my friend today as we came in the morning that if you are looking for things to make you negative in Kenya, Zico. my friend, uh, you, 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 you don't even need a black book, you need books. <laughs> there are so many things to discourage you in this country. Right. Any side you look, mm -hmm. whether it is politics, whether it is medicine, whether it is everything. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to be positive, yeah. there are many things to make you positive. So yeah. it is what you want to, to get out of this life. Absolutely. Yes. Let me read some SMSs that have come in here. Okay. So I have Eva who says, I really thank God for your show. It has literally saved me from making lifelong mistakes. And I am learning a lot. You're 22 years old. Thank you very much for that, Eva. I have another one here who says, I'm Jacqueline. I left school when I was in Form 3. It wasn't my wish. But for now, I'm regretting because I'm a house girl somewhere and I am 22 years old. How would you encourage Jacqueline today? This wasn't necessarily her choice. <laughs> it could have been a financial strain on the family yes. or whatever it could be. Um, so someone like Jacqueline right now, uh, life has been tough to her. I want to say this, mm -hmm. that uh, it, is, it is her, her, it is within her own power. Mm -hmm. The power has not been taken away from her of becoming something and making something out of herself. Right. Are you getting that? Yes, yes. I, I met a lady who, who actually got married, I think at 16 years, okay, without uh, any, any education. And she got children. The children went to high school. And when the children were in high school, she thought of going back to school. Wow. She went back to school, high school, Form 1, and did her studies up to Form 4, got a big grade, 
went to Nairobi University, did her master's, and she is a senior person with NTSA. Wow. And now she is approaching her 50s with a good pay, driving herself, and she is doing things. She is going for a PhD. Yeah. I want that lady to know this, that there are people who have redeemed themselves yeah. from worse situations. Yeah. And so if you have the will mm. to conquer any challenge, it is possible because mm. our minds are calibrated in a way to be able to do so much for us. Right. And it is us that limit ourselves. Mm. And therefore, if she gives her mind the task to seek the right north for her, it will. Yeah. And if there is a will, there it's is a way. way. Yeah. And there are people who are willing to help such people. Absolutely. I was yes, just going yeah. to add that. Yes. I think relating to what you were saying earlier, even about your attitude, even as you do this job right now, yes. that's going to make such a difference. You know, So a even as you're taking care of that home that you're working with, yes. do it with a pleasant attitude. And uh, because with that, you know, I think it's one thing to say that you're chasing something, but you've not f accomplished your re responsibilities. Make sure you've yes. also met your responsibilities in your spare time. Then, you know, show interest in, in the things that you're doing. I've heard of employers yes. Yes. who actually take their house girls to school. Huh? It, There's one who's gone times, to yes. baking school because yes. the employer recognizes this lady loves to bake yes. and she does pretty well. And they've yes. taken her off to, to yeah, bake. And, and even that lady, she doesn't have to go back to form one. She can right. pick a career in something else, in yeah. design, in, in, in fashion design, in building. There are so many things one can learn out yeah. here. L like some other day we were doing a, a small unit in our workshop and the, the lady who came to do interiors, uh, I thought it's a guy they are sending, but they sent a lady and she did very good paint work, very good scheming. I was pleased mm. and I, this lady has learned this skill. So you can acquire a skill mm -hmm. and still act a living out of it. So if you are if you responsible, that lady, I want to say, she need to do us some savings yeah. and have a plan yeah. and, and look for the help now yeah. because yeah. again, it can't just come. And you cannot change your life by, by chance. You can only mm -hmm. change your life by changing it. Mm -hmm. You cannot just wait. You know, uh, mm -hmm. miracles happen, but I think most of the times you are the biggest uh, player Faith in that. Faith that works is dead. Yeah, like that lady who came to Jesus, and Jesus said, Go, woman, your faith has made you. Go, woman, mm -hmm. your faith. Your faith. So yeah. you must really work on yourself as a person yeah, yeah. before your faith, uh, before Jesus or God can do anything for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, someone here is saying, hey Joyce, Joe came to my school, Limuru Girls, and inspired me a lot with his book, Where Girls Go Wrong. You have a book titled, Where, yeah. Girls, Go Wrong. Yeah, Where Girls Go Wrong. I think that's good because uh, someone else here is saying, good morning, I'm still in my late 20s, though I wish someone was there to guide me on things, relationship. Uh, and they're talking about men, I think, not changing um have a job and it turns out to be abusive from the man let's talk about relationships with with young people um because in our 20s from your teenagehood of course into your 20s your hormones are raging all over the place and a lot of people start paying attention to the wrong things you know everything in life has its season and too many people i think do i say waste almost destroy the vitality of their 20s because they're so caught up in in relationships and it's not even good relationships it's yes. you look back at those relationships and you're just like ah oh, what was i thinking yeah. you're even ashamed to say that you are with that person yeah. um you find a lot of people end up in early pregnancies that they were nowhere near prepared for see talk to talk to this uh what I, what i have observed is this a lot of people are not in relationships because they even want to be there Mm -hmm. You understand? It's a question that everybody has a relationship and the, the desire of not being left behind. A competitive spirit among the youngest people so that uh, I need to outdo so and so, I need to have, a, if you have this, I need to have a better person like than you and, and so forth. The first thing I want to comment on that is the, we are not in competition in this world with anybody but ourselves. Miles Munro doctor said this, that success is not what you have done versus what others have done. Mm. Success is what you have done versus what you could have done and mm. should have done. Mm. And so a lack of objectivity among young people is one of the biggest reasons why people are delving into relationships that they not need not to be in. So if you're looking for a person to be in a relationship with, are you objective about what are you looking for? Fine. Yeah. Do you have a list of do you, do you actually know what you're looking for? Yeah. And you don't just 
fall in love, these young people are not just falling in love, they are falling inside love. <laughs> so this person cannot think. <laughs> you are not actually thinking. <laughs> and I, I even want to advise the ladies, and uh, because they are mostly affected by mm -hmm. these things. Please, when you are falling in love, carry your brain. Go with it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a story about, um, about a, certain, uh, a certain monkey and a crocodile. And this crocodile was told by the doctor that your mother can only get well if you get a monkey and you slaughter it and get the heart. If you bring the heart of a monkey, then it will be well. And then the crocodile tricked the monkey and carried the monkey on, the, on its back to the other side of the river to slaughter. Yeah. And then the, the crocodile told the monkey why he was carrying him. And the monkey said, uh, you should have told me because as monkeys, we don't carry our hearts. We leave them on the tree. <laughs> so the crocodile took the monkey back to collect the its, heart. his heart. Oh, so gosh. please, I want to say, please, when you're falling in love, carry your brain. Okay. Emotional <laughs> intelligence. Very important. Oh, wow. Joe, I, yes. I, my time is running out, but I want to touch on two things. So very quickly, mm. Kristen here is saying, I'm 23 and I wish I had a mentor. I want to make it early in my life, but I don't have anyone to tell my dreams to direct me at a point of seeing myself like I can't. I wish my 20s could be different, but I hope it isn't too late. And I want you to comment about this whole idea of making it early in life, because that's what she said. And I personally think it should be slightly different. I, I don't think success is overnight. Is that one of the challenges that we face in our 20s, kind of wanting to be successful Very instantly? Fast. Well, well, it has its advantages, it has its disadvantages. But I want to say this, it's okay mm -hmm. to want to be successful early. Sure. Because that sets you on a serious path early enough in focused. life. Yes, focus early enough. And then you, 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 get, you get something called the benefit of youth. Mm -hmm. that you have time to make mistakes. Energy. Yes, energy and time to make mistakes. Yeah. The, there's a, f a cousin of mine who goes to China many times in a year, about 10 times or 8 times a year. And the competitor goes, uh, is an old person, about 60. My cousin is 20s or 30, early 30 now. He, he is 31 now. If he goes to China those times, he doesn't have a problem with his feet. The competitor and a full amigo. So you realize this. If you're older, you don't have advantage. Sure. And therefore, this person who is young, when you are young, you can make all the mistakes and nobody blames you. There are mistakes you make in your 40s and 50s, you shall <laughs> never <laughs> be forgiven. <laughs> so, me, I have no trouble okay, with that. And good. then again also, uh, patience is important also. I, I, so. I, I let them also understand the gradual growth. Absolutely. Yes. Finally, as we encourage uh, the viewer here who wrote in, I believe your name was Jacqueline, uh, who wrote in saying you're a house help right now. Someone here wants to encourage you. They say, let me encourage Jacqueline. I left school at Form 3 back in 2014. I worked as a house girl for a year, paid my fees, completed my Form 4, and thank God I am now a fourth year student at Moy University taking education. That's Anna, who's now 23 years old. Wow, well done to her. I like, yeah. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Joe, thank you for challenging us this yeah. morning. Yes. Um, that indeed, let's not live life with regrets that we could have avoided, I yes. think would be the way I would say it today. Yeah. Uh, but how can people reach you? Yeah, people can reach me on my number. Mm -hmm. um, do I give it? Sure. Uh, 0715 296 Mm -hmm. That's my number, 0715-296-049. Right. Jomwang Inspirations on IG, uh, on Twitter, and also on uh, YouTube. You can check my videos there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a video of us that was going around. Yes, you uh, got shouted out by Churchill. Yeah, that Usi uh, Shule Utaki. We saw my video with Taki, uh -huh. Upate Grade with Taki, uh -huh. everything. You know, it, you can choose your destiny. All right. And sometimes you can tell life, stop. Mm -hmm. Let me now choose. Okay. Although it is more difficult now sure. because you have to work so hard Absolutely. to live the life you want. Yeah. But you but can it's do okay. it. Mental attitude. Of course. Mental resilience. Yes. Great. Well, guys, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our next segment. Uh, now, Nafin here from Raqqa already asking, I'd like to know how I can manage my money at in my 20s. Uh, we're going to be having a discussion on finance uh, coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. I'll be back after this.